walking on Saturday. What are your initial thoughts going into that match? Well, I've been watching them over the last couple of days. Um, really, I think they've, well, they've won four out of the last five games, so they're in really good form um, and got some really exciting players. So uh, I think we're coming into a game obviously with a new manager and a, a new manager bounce. And Darrell's very experienced. Darren's very experienced at this level, and he's. Um, He's inherited a really good squad, so I'm expecting a really tough game uh, with a team full of quality. Yeah, and, you know, you speak about their new manager, Darren Sarl, and it feels like it ages ago when we last came up against him. You know, you over time, I think that might be one of the first few games of the season. And, and I know walking away was actually the second game of the season, so it's been, you know, a large amount of the season sort of progressed on since we come across walking and Darren Sal's uh, Yeovil Town when he was there. Um, what what do you sort of remember from those games, the, the walking away, and then when we uh, obviously played Darren Sal's Yeovil? Well, Darren's a very demanding manager. He demands a lot of um, um, aggression from his players, a lot of um, intensity from his players, um, and, and wants to get the ball forward into it, to his front men and hurt us in, that, in, in our half of the pitch. So th there has been a similarity to how Darren plays his football so we, we can lean on that um, and obviously I've seen the game that they played against Boronwood last week and, and I thought they were excellent so I know what's coming the players know what's coming I've, I've translated that to the players they know what's coming as well um, and there'll be a lot of players out to try and impress the new manager so we were hitting Rokin probably at the uh, a, a tough time but the, the same for us we, we've had an excellent season and We've been trying to get across to the players this morning about that we have to wheels, we have to continue to wheels. We've been refining our messages and, and making sure we're the best version of us, but a lean to knowing what's coming. What do you make of Woking this season? Obviously, they're one of those teams, sort of mid table, just going on to the, the playoff eliminator places, um, you know, those sort of teams this season. Yeah, I think, well, you, the goals, they scored 51 and they've conceded 51, so that shows me that they're, they're a threat going forward and score a lot of goals, but they give us opportunities to score goals, so. Uh, that, that's what I'm leaning on. Uh, I know the areas where they're, they're creating the goals and got two excellent forwards in Oakley and, and Effing Young, who's Effing certainly who's proven at this level, we're, with lots of pace wide that can run off the back. And so I can see why they're scoring goals. Um, but what we've got to do is try and, as, as we've done this morning, is try and um, prod holes in, in where they're conceding goals and, and make sure that when they come here that we can hurt them with, with our attacking force. Yeah, you've just sort of spoken about, you know, touched upon the training and, and today, and obviously the lads had a rest day on Wednesday. Um, what kind of things have we done today, Thursday, and then prepping for, for tomorrow, Friday, and then for the game Saturday? It's all about refining messages at this time of year and something we reflect on after the, after the two defeats was we need to keep on top of uh, our game plan and re keep refining the messages, even if they are repeated messages. Um, and we've tried to do that today, we'll do that again tomorrow and um, and hopefully be ready for the weekend. Yeah, I mean, just sort of last, obviously it's you know three home games in a row, this is the third and last one for now and what sort of message have you got for the fans because you know they were in full voice, weren't they, on, on Tuesday night? Yeah, yeah, I, I appreciate a bit nervous, I appreciate that some people differing opinions of how we should play but it's worked so far for us. Um, just come down, trust the process, trust that we'll try and get the right result um, but get down in your numbers. This, this club will have never, never been in a better position than they are at the moment. Uh, so you've got to get behind us and got to trust that what we're doing is right and, and support the boys from minute one. And, and it's been a tough week. We're going to need you. I put in my programme notes on Saturday that we need you. We need you to drive the boys and get them over the line of what's been a, a demanding week. Yeah, thank you, Simon Pete, and all the best on Saturday. Thank you. Cheers.